Hey guys, it's Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. I'm super excited to bring to you guys today's recipe. It is a very simple three ingredient recipe that will help you get thicker hair, help to regrow bald spots, keep your hair nice and moisturized. You can use it as a people treatment, as a deep conditioning treatment, as a leave-in conditioner as well if you want to. So, so many uses to this one um diy so i hope that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the steps now before we get into it guys i just want to say a massive thank you for um your patience i know i haven't really been consistent as i would have loved to but thank you so much for being patient with me um so let's hop into the video guys so we are going to need some flax seeds now flax seeds are uh, very very beneficial for hair because it helps your hair to grow faster it also helps to um provide nourishment to the hair follicles which can make your hair grow longer as well it contains uh, vitamin e which provide uh, provides nutrition to the scalp and reduces free radical damage so really good for hair in general so i add about a quarter cup of that now i'm, I'm going in next with some fenugreek seeds now fenugreek seed also have amazing um, high growth properties they're very good at moisturizing the hair and scalp preventing downdraft it helps to stimulate the follicles again to promote healthy high growth it controls scalp inflammation it adds shine and soft texture to the hair it prevents you know damaged hair or revive damaged hair it also prevents premature growing so really really good to have in your hair regimen so I added about half of a quarter of a cup essentially uh, but you can use a whole quarter of a cup if you want to so for this i'm adding two glasses of water um, you can add more if you want to just bear in mind that the more water you add the less of a jelly like consistency you are going to have to the treatment so add less water if you're looking for like a very jelly consistency now i'm going in here with my favorite of all times rosemary rosemary is really really good as well when it comes to stimulating high growth so really good to have in your regimen guys so i'm using fresh rosemary you can get this in your regular grocery store um yeah pretty easy to find and that's it those are only the three ingredients we're going to need for today's recipe so after you've done that guys you want to pop this on the stove and allow it to boil for a little bit now you know this is ready when the water starts to become a bit slimy so it starts to thicken and it gets a bit slimy essentially so you just want to take that off the stove once you get to that stage make sure that you're there to stir gradually guys because this will boil over essentially so if you're not there you will come back and find everything on your stove so be sure to be present when the whole thing is boiling. Okay guys, so once that's done, um, this is pretty much what it looks like um, after it's been boiling for some time um so i just thought i'll show you how slimy um the liquid was already sort of looking like so yeah that's how you know this is ready and also your fenugreek seeds would have doubled in size and that's how you know it's pretty much ready so we're going to go ahead and strain it immediately um just because it's so much easier you can let this cool down and then use a recap to um extract the gel but it's so much easier if you just strain as it's hot because when it cools down, it then becomes a gel. So you save you save yourself so much time and hassle when it comes to sort of getting the gel out of it, essentially. So I'm just using a regular sieve. I just want to pour the whole thing on it and just allow you you know allow it to sieve, and that's pretty much it.
okay guys so this is what it looks like while it's still hot so it's pretty much in the form of a liquid and then when it cools down it becomes more like a gel um, so yeah, this is pretty much it. It is a very simple and quick recipe to make, yet very, very effective at preventing hair loss, thickening your hair, um, you know, um, reducing damage or preventing damage in general, and also stimulating high growth. So really, really good to have in your regimen. Now, in this part of the video, I'm going to share with you how to use it, how often you should be using this, and basically, I'll also demonstrate basically how I'm using it. So I do hope that you you keep on watching and you watch to the end of the video guys so you get to see um, pretty much all of the steps or you get to hear everything um, so before we actually get into it I just want to ask you guys to leave let me know in the comment section down below how you're doing I feel like my uploading um, schedule has been a bit all over the place I used to post you know on a Tuesday and a Friday before now it's kind of like some weeks it really varies and honestly it's just because I haven't been my best like I haven't been you know um, in good health for a little while well I've been in good health but I haven't been feeling well um for a little while essentially so that's why my uploading has been a little bit all over the place but i'm working on you know getting back to a more sort of you know regular schedule so you guys would know exactly when to expect a video and have a video right on that day but yeah it's still a work in progress essentially but thank you so much guys for bearing with me for being patient for you know watching my previous videos for commenting even though I, I you know i feel like i haven't been posting as i should have i'm still getting so many comments from you guys and you know lots of you guys subscribing so yeah thank you so much for that now let's get into the actual video so yeah so essentially uh, my hair at this point is dirty so i'm using this as a pre-pool treatment um i recently had braids that i kept on for about three to four weeks um just because like i said i wasn't really feeling well and that was so nice to have because it just gave me a little bit of a break you know from from thinking about my hair essentially so i just took those braids down and you know did a bit of finger detangling and then put my hair in this twist that you're seeing so essentially i'm just kind of you know on doing every single section of the twist that i have and then i'm working the treatment through so starting from my roots all the way to my ends i'm just making sure that everything is nice and covered now you can use this just like i said at the beginning of the video as a leave-in conditioner a dip conditioning treatment or even as a people treatment just like i'm doing here now this is very very moisturizing and also it gives your hair so much strength which is what you need essentially when you are you know um going to go ahead and shampoo your hair because you don't want to um, have weak hair because essentially it's just going to break so pre pooing just helps a lot with uh, preventing breakage so really really good to incorporate in your wash day routine now after i finish applying this guys i'm just going to put a heat app, uh, cap on and just leave it on my hair for about two hours and then i'm going to go ahead and shampoo my hair and just move on with my wash day routine essentially um so i'm not going to show you how i do that in this video because as you can imagine the video will be extremely long which i'm not trying to to do um so yeah but that's pretty much all you need to do and yeah Now, I know some of you guys will be asking how often you should be using this, whether you can use this on relaxed hair, on, you know, treated hair in general, because I always get this question. Um, to be completely honest, guys, these treatments are natural treatments, and obviously I'm not relaxed, and all of the things that I share with you guys, I do try on my hair. Um, so, but I believe that because this is like all natural stuff, it is very, very unlikely to harm your relaxed hair, essentially. So I would say it's pretty safe to use on relaxed hair as well um, as natural hair. Now, in case you're wondering how often you should be using this, well, it just depends on, you know, what you're using it for. If you're using it as a deep conditioning treatment, then I would say once a week is such a good time to do that, just because obviously it's important to give your hair regular moisture, 
which you can do by deep conditioning essentially so once a week is quite a good time that's what i do i wash my hair you know um, every three to four weeks but i deep condition in between uh, and that just helps me retain moisture and length over time now if you are going to use it as a people treatment i would definitely not recommend that you do this once a week because you don't want to shampoo your hair once a week like it's just going to dry your scalp a lot and your hair and essentially cause more breakage so maybe use it once every four weeks or once every six weeks if that's how often you wash your hair now you can also use this as a leave-in conditioner which means you can use you know twice every week or three times every week depending on how often you moisturize your hair now the one thing that i would say when it comes to um leave-in conditioner this i mean using this as a leave-in conditioner is that you shouldn't put too much on your hair so it doesn't you know leave um like some debris essentially so you can just use a little bit of that and then an oil just to seal the moisture and essentially that's pretty much it um so this is it for me today guys i do hope that you've enjoyed watching the video and if you did please please go ahead and give it a thumbs up it really helps my videos out and also subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already youtube actually tells me that 90 percent of you watching are not subscribed to my channel like that's such a huge number like what are you waiting for guys please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and also share it with somebody you believe can learn something from the video and then i'll catch you next time bye